What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill, and it's your favourite time of the inkiness. It's time for Grab Five Challenge, where you pick five things from your stash and you have to use them on a page. You don't have to use tons of them, but they have to get in there somehow. I love to do it to uh, kind of mix in some of my old stash and my new stash. Won't lie, there's a few new things in this video when I recorded it. Uh, I couldn't resist. I had just got a haul of things and I uh, wanted to use them straight away. So I've got the Magical Forest paper pad and the chipboard sheet. And then I have an older uh, sheet of enamel shapes from Citrus Twist. I've got some florals from Pink Fresh and some of these older uh, washi strips from Jane Davenport. So that's what I'm working with today. And I'm scrapping a photo of the buns. So let's get into it up and I filmed this a little while ago and look at those teeny tiny baby hands so as I was scrapping some of this I had violet on my lap uh, and it didn't work surprise surprise and so I did at one point strap her to my chest in the carrier uh, but you don't get to see that on on camera but just know that while I was flicking through this paper she was in fact uh, stuck to my chest <laughs> I'm uh, going through and I'm trying to, I picked this paper pad because it had a, the cute little bunnies in it and I thought it was appropriate uh, to pop on this page. But the problem was a lot of the backgrounds were quite busy and I knew that I had those florals that I wanted to use and it would clash especially with those washi strips as well. And so I decided to go with this uh, kind of very plain looking graph print. And I do add in that other paper uh, in a little moment, you'll see it. Uh, a lot of people have asked about the buns and we did lose Poppet uh, at the start of this year, which was uh, very sad, but Frida is still here. Uh, Poppet was about, I think she was close to nine. She was eight, maybe, I think she was eight. And uh, Frida is now, we got her before we got married and we've been married eight years this November, which is just crazy. Uh, so she'd be about eight now, I'd say. And buns usually live, the life expectancy is about 10 years in um, when they're indoor. And so hoping that she'll still be with us for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, so Frida's still around and uh, these photos were from last year that I'm documenting. Oh, I do sort all of the florals here. So this took a bit, so I'm speeding it up super fast. I decided to break them up into the left side has black and white, blue, yellow and green. And then the right hand pile has everything else. And the reason why I did that is because I thought that pink clashed a little bit with the, uh, the background paper. Usually I don't fuss too much about clashing colors because I find that there's usually a way to make them work. And, uh, but these two just didn't go together. And I picked the yellows and the blues and the greens because uh, they're the colors that are in the bunny's uh, snuggle blanket here, uh, which is covered in game controllers, I think it was. I think I saw it and I thought, oh, if there's ever a blanket our bunny should have, it's one with game controllers all over it. So now I am wonkily sticking down my paper, which was a little annoying. So I do end up trimming it slightly. Man riding by on a horse wouldn't notice that it's slightly wonky. So it's all good. Up oh, here's my friend. Oh, look at how little she was. She looks so much like Archie there. Uh, so this is my little scrappy friend. This is back at the old house before we moved. So you can see the moving boxes in the background. So I'm sticking my photo down and I wasn't quite sure where I was going to put the flowers. If I was going to put them underneath the photo or down the side, uh, I knew that I, I was inevitably going to cover up some of that bunny background or animal background paper, I should say but I wasn't sure how much and where. I also was contemplating at this time putting a bit of white gesso down, but then I figured I had so many things to stick on that there wasn't any point because you weren't going to see the white gesso uh, anyway. 
So I really, really wanted to use that chipboard uh, bit, but I'm not sure if it works yet. So for now, I'm starting to stick down all of my florals. And, but first, but first, I need some tissue paper. I freaking love tissue paper and I know it's not acid free, uh, but to me, I, I scrap for the process and the, the fun of creating something and I am okay with using uh, some non acid free products in my scrapping. But if you do, um, if that is a concern to you, don't use tissue paper. Uh, you might have to look for something different to uh, get this same effect with. I'm just doing a bit of a concertina fold over there and I found that I, do, I was liking the ripped edge but I just felt like my eye was being drawn to it too much and I wanted to soften the page up a little bit um, because I felt with the angles of the photo and the lines in the graph paper everything was just so liney ah, and the tear looked a little bit out of place. Uh, I don't know why I've grabbed this flower that has pink on it because it's not supposed to be in this pile unless I am going to cover it up in a moment. We shall soon see. Uh, but I'm using some foam tape to stick that down. Ah, I'm covering up the pink flower. There we go. Uh, you know when you're watching something that you, if you make process videos, you're watching it back and you're like, why am I doing that? And then I realized it's, it's all good. <laughs> Uh, so I am sticking a couple of these on with a little bit of foam. I have stuck this, uh, sped this bit up um, quite a lot because it did take me a little while to, to stick all these fiddly little bits on. And so some of them I'm sticking up with florals, uh, with foam, sorry, not with florals. And uh, I'm, I really like the, the slight shadowing that it gives this page. And I also think that it's by sticking them up on foam, kind of separates them from that background paper which is so busy and um, gives them a little bit of their own I don't know gives them their own importance and doesn't make them fade into the the background so I'm starting off of course with those bigger pieces and then getting to the mini ones and the little ones and the teeny tiny ones go in last uh, I didn't stick them all down but a lot of them did make it uh, on that side and then the black and white I feel are so handy because you can make them work with um, so many different pages. So now I've got the washi strips and they're a very different type of color palette than the rest of the things. And so I try to go with the washi tape strips that are a little bit uh, either blue or they're, they're calmer pieces and they're not like the, the bright hot pink um, bits. So I'm just using those at the top and the bottom of my photo just to add um, a little bit of something extra. I really wanted to use the mermaid girl hair but I just didn't feel like it belonged with this, I don't know, the, the subject of this layout. It just, it didn't match it. Uh, I really liked that blue but it was a bit too blue so I separated it uh, so that it didn't stand out as much. And then I'm sticking down that chipboard piece and then I had the little bunny. I had to use the little bunny because it just worked out so well. And then usually with chipboard, I tend to either use one piece or 50,000 pieces. And I guess today was a bit of a 50,000 day. Uh, I was trying to use up a lot of these little stars because I don't know, chipboard, I, I really do have a love-hate relationship with it. I think I have a love-hate relationship with large chipboard. That's what I struggle with. So then I'm grabbing this little uh, enamel shape set and I'm sticking down, sticking to just the, the blues, the greens and the yellows to try and build, make all of these pieces feel a little bit more uh, cohesive than they did when I first showed them in the, the Grab 5 section and seeing what else I can include. Like I said, I'm really trying to use up uh, sticker sheets. Uh, I think I said that in the last video. And so I've got some that I've got near my desk that I just keep trying to use. And this little enamel shape one was one of them, as is this one. So this is a, I think it had buttons, it had wood buttons and enamel dots. And so I decided to add this green one because 
I don't, you guys know, I don't use a lot of green, but there was this exact shade of green in the bunny's blanket. Uh, so I thought it worked and then I thought, let's add some green enamel dots because, hey, the opportunities to add those in my uh, <laughs> scrapping is not, not all that often. So now I grabbed some uh, thickers for my title and I decided to go with Dream Life. Uh, a bit of a play on the fact that they were snoozing and maybe dreaming. Do animals dream? Does anyone know? I'm, I, I'm sure that the bunnies have some sort of dream because there have been times where Frida in particular has been lying down and she will start like kicking, like she's running in her dream. And I know dogs do the same thing too. Um, but does anyone actually know, do they, do they dream? That would be really interesting. I don't know how they'd find that out. Hmm, pondering. Uh, for my journaling, I was considering just using a tag, but I decided to use my trusty whiteout, which I learned from my beautiful friend, Lauren Hender. If you haven't checked out her, uh, YouTube channel you definitely should Lauren Hender H-E-N-D-E-R uh, she does beautiful scrapbook pages and she uses this white out tape uh, to do journaling often and I watch so many of her videos and I've seen her do it in real life that I wanted to give it a try and I've fallen in love with it uh, since I first did it it's a really cheap tool to add to your scrapbooking collection as well so adding a few more sprinkly bits and then I felt like the cattle needed raining in a little bit. I needed a doodly border. If if this is the first video of mine that you've watched, you're going to be like, why is she talking about cattle? Uh, but I just, I sometimes feel that the embellishments are like cattle in a field and they just need a fence to make them all stay where they're supposed to be. Uh, but I didn't want to do the doodly border around the whole page because, I don't know, it just didn't feel like it was going to work uh, so I decided to do a doodly border around just the photo and it's something I don't do often but I really love the way that uh, it did turn out in this one also addling uh, addling hmm, addling things that's a nice word though it has a ring to it I am adding some sprinkly bits with my pen and then this page is all done I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up. Uh, it helps my video be discovered by new scrappy peeps. And it also just lets me know that you like what I put out. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.